Okay, everyone, I am back. This is Tobin Wonderland, War of Pokemon Stadium 2, and it's time to take on Gym Leader Chuck at the Cinewood Gym. And this time he only has one crony, Black Belt Nick, so it won't be particularly long here. But for this particular battle, Nintendo Power recommends that you use a Slowking, Golbat, Kadabra, Venusaur, Scyther, and Skarmory. Not a bad team if I say so myself. Um, it actually makes sense too. There, if you haven't noticed, um, they picked a lot of flying and psychic Pokemon, well with the exception of Venusaur. But um, for the rest of the team that they selected though, they have a lot of Pokemon as I said that no flying moves. Because uh, this particular gym uses fighting Pokemon. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick my team. As before, I registered them to save time. Uh, I have chosen a Butterfree with a Bitterberry, Delibird with a Goldberry, Fira with Leftovers, Crobat with a Scope Lens, Violet Bloom with a Miracle Berry, and a Zapdos with a Magnet. All completely different Pokemon than what Nintendo Power suggests. But yeah, this shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. Uh, there's only one crony as opposed to two. Yeah, I'll battle your Pokemon. I totally missed what he said there. I did catch Yeah though. <laughs> oh, but anyway, as you can see, he has uh, some fighting Pokemon. Some are ground type too, so he's got a mix of different types here. Um, it'd be a good idea to leave with Violet Bloom here, because uh, some of them are weak to. Uh, Grass. Not only that, because Violet Bloom's part poison, fighting won't affect it too much. And, uh, Butterfree and, uh, well, it doesn't matter too much, I guess, but, uh, Delibird should be good. The challenger has made it to the Zapdos isn't bad either, but uh, a couple of them are ground type, so that's not quite the best strategy I could really recommend for that. Part of the reason I did pick Zapdos uh, was for the second battle, it's because some of them know Earthquake, and that'll help uh, nullify that. At least it can't be hit by a ground move. Yeah, Nidorino. Or Nido Rhino, whatever. Uh, it actually is probably Nido Rhino, now that I think about it. Nido, Nido. I almost call it Nido because it's like, uh, um, it sounds like needles, I guess. And I'm switching just because uh, Violet Bloom can do some damage to Nido Rhino, but it's not going to be the greatest. And oh shoot, I forgot that his Pokemon know these moves. Okay, it missed, good. Alright, Butterfree, you Psychic. Part of the reason that Butterfree is holding a Bitter Berry is because some Pokemon will try to confuse it. What did you just say, Teddy? <laughs> I don't know that I ever heard him like yell at you like that. <laughs> that was just so weird. And mean for that matter. Why would you cheer for the opponent? I thought you were on our side. Okay, Violet Plume, I guess we'll have to finish it off with you after. Pedal Dance. Oh, are you serious? Okay, good, it missed. I hate Horn Drill so much, though, when it's used against me. I can't say that I use it myself a lot. And yeah, Petal Dance is really the best I can do with it. Okay, thanks for missing. That gives me a chance, at least. Okay, good, that was enough to knock it out. Good, good, good. Okay, I wonder if which other Pokemon he has. He probably has... Yeah, hit one top, I figured. Yes, I know that, Teddy. Alright, um... I guess Poison Powder wouldn't be too bad to use here. From what I'm aware of, I think the uh, Hitmontop has 
or really obscure item. It might not be the Hitmontop. There's one that has, like, the weirdest item for some reason. But I guess it's... I don't remember if it is the Hitmontop or not. But it's not a Poison Cure Berry, obviously. Oh, it dug underground, as Teddy just said. But the Poison will still get it. Since I picked Petal Dance, I'm probably locked in it now. Yes, I am. I was going to say, I wish I could have switched. It's not going to matter too much, though. Uh, Viola Plume. Even though it's part Poison. As you can see, Dig didn't really do much to it. I would like to hit it with a Petal Dance move, though, since we're stuck in this match. Okay, it's time to switch. We're going to go with Delibird now. Just because Vileplume's not really going anywhere. Nothing personal, Vileplume. Oh, it's Delibird! Hi, <laughs> uses dig. Well, if you're gonna do that, I'm gonna use fly. Yes, Delibird does go faster than it does. Delibird is fairly... It, it's not the strongest Pokémon, but at least it has uh, decent speed. In a later generation, if they're ever going to have it where the older Pokémon evolve, Delibird needs to be one of those Pokémon, just because Delibird doesn't have the best potential of stats. It could definitely have an evolution where it's stronger. I'd be curious to see what it would evolve into, though. If that was the case. I'm glad I have Vileplume now. But I'm going to try to see if I can hit it with Blizzard. Because Blizzard would be super facto against it. Come on, hit it! Oh, come on! And now I don't want to get hit by that. Oh, jeez. Thanks for missing. That was kind of a nullified turn, though. What about this? Come on, hit it! Oh, that too. Of course it misses, because I always have bad luck wow. on my side. That was brutal! Ugh. Whoa, KO by one hit. Jeez, why'd your face get all red over that? That's an anger face, not a happy face. <laughs> It's not a problem, though. Vileplume will take it out easily, even before it gets its Horned Row dance move in. I hate Horned Row when it's used against me. Yes, please. It's gotta do it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That battle was a bit more of a struggle than I uh, initially thought. Although, come to think of it, uh, if you look closely, you can tell some of his Pokémon are, like, evolved from... Co well, in comparison to previous trainers. A lot of the previous trainers were using, like, the most basic Pokémon for their teams. As you can see, he uses Hitmontop, Nidorino, Dogtrio, Hitmonlee, even Seeking. The exception is the Rhyhorn, but yeah. Hi everyone, I'm back. I had to redo this because, well, bad luck was against me. I just didn't really get a lucky streak this time against Chuck, the gym leader. So, as I had mentioned before, I had to restart the challenge from the beginning and work my way up. Luckily, he only had one crony, unlike some of the others I know, but... For this battle, he has a lot of Pokémon that know Dynamic Punch, and for some reason, that was in his favor. It's usually inaccurate, but it kept hitting me nonetheless. But anyway, for this particular battle, um... Well, I would have normally used the Zapdos, but now that I think about it, the only one it's even good for is the Polyrath, and that's not even necessary. So I'm not even going to use the Zapdos. Um, I'm actually going to leave with Fero, and I'm also going to use Crobat and Butterfree, believe it or not. 
Uh, as it turns out, Butterfree actually is not that bad for this particular gym leader. Because it's both bug and flying, which are both resistant to fighting moves. So that's really a good thing to keep in mind. You do have to watch out for the Sand Slash. Um, in addition to Dynamic Punch, it does no rollout. Um, let's skip the Toxic, let's just drill pack it. It's kind of like uh, the other move. And I got lucky again. Here's what I mean with the luck. At least my heroes got uh, leftovers. Still. I'll try to hit it again. Okay, good. That was a glancing blow. Okay, you know what? It's time for Hyper Beam, if I can manage to pull this off. Okay, Hyper Beam. And of course I would be facing the Sand Slash, the one I was hoping I wouldn't face. Please don't hit yourself. It's not a pretty sight. Ugh, oh, shoot. Bad luck again. Firo, I was really depending on because some of the other fighting Pokemon don't have as good a defense as what uh, Sand Slash has. I am not sending out Butterfree. Rollout would devastate it. I'm just going to use Fly with Crobat, that way I can get out of the way of that annoying move. Rollout. No, that that's probably Crobat's best move here. Of course, they wouldn't give it Confuse Ray instead of uh, Supersonic because that's making it too strong and too much of a cheat, I guess. Yeah, I don't know why Nintendo's like that. Oh, and I can't believe I'm actually talking about this, but earlier you probably heard me pronounce the name of this uh, gym. Cinewood? Well, that's because uh, I have a story to share with that. Ever since I was a kid, I never realized that the, the two letters in the word, it's actually uh, Cyanwood, I believe, is how it's actually supposed to be said, but I always call it Cinewood. And that's just a bit of a curse that I've had on my, uh... For me, I mean, it's just been around since I was a kid, really. But back then, I seen it as Cinewood instead of Cyanwood, and... Ever since then, that's what I've always called it. And then it wasn't that long ago that I seen that the two letters in it, the A and the N, were act is actually how it's spelled, C I A N, and then Wood. But I looked at it as C I N A Wood. I was trying to use uh, Dynamic Punch against me again. Well, we're gonna use Bite to finish it off. Okay. Oh, now you get a critical hit. You couldn't have gotten that sooner. That really would have helped me out, though. Now, here's what sucks. It's just a matter of what his next Pokemon is. Polyrath. Okay, I'm gonna try Supersonic and hope that it works. Also, be advised, don't use Bite against it. I mean, that's obvious against most fighting Pokemon. Stark doesn't look that good. And hey, it hit! That's good. Finally, it worked for me. Oh, it's confused. Let me just use one Leech Life, and then I'll start flying against it. This is a... not a good idea, but... Okay, yeah, that was kind of pointless. I kind of figured so, because it works the other way around, too. Bug's not that strong against fighting. Fighting's not strong against Bug. Okay, now it's time to use Fly. At least it's been hitting itself. That's good. I'm glad I have some assistance. Okay, not confused anymore, huh? So it's gonna try to confuse me with Dynamic Punch, too. Now, Crobat's both Poison and Flying, so even if it does hit me, it's not gonna do too much. But, as I mentioned, I did have bad luck the last time. So, yep, and it happened again. 
So now I can't really rely on Fly without hitting myself. I'm gonna try Supersonic yet again, see if I can confuse it at least. And I miss. Bad luck yet again. And it knows Psychic. I forgot about that. Okay, maybe I should just fly. Or not. Oh wait, yeah, I do. I got confused, because usually Tax Blurb appears whenever uh, you're not confused, but when you fly, you're just... there is no prompt. You basically just do it. Okay, good, good! Oh my god, that was so lucky. Thank you, Crobat! The last time I used Zapdos, and uh, unfortunately Sandslash did get on the team, and that's how I ended up losing. I didn't even bother showing like the lost attempt, because why bother? But that's my, that's my point. Alright, I'll just use one fly against this. I have a feeling I'm going to go down no matter what, so... And it's probably just going to use Seismic Toss, considering that I have less than 50 HP. Yep, I figured. At least I got out of its... Uh, view, so I could at least hit it with one fly. Would be great is if it knocked it out, but I don't see it doing that. Nope. Fly's not as powerful in the earlier games. Later on it becomes pretty useful, because they increase its power. Yep, and it's butterfree. This actually is not that bad. Because Dynamic Punch and Vital Throw, which are two moves that Choke knows, are not going to be that strong. And I am just going to get right to the... cut right to the chase and use Psychic, I guess. Okay, good. Thank you! We took out Chuck at last. <laughs> well, it didn't take me that many tries, but still. We did defeat him now, and just to show you, uh, I really don't advise using a Psychic Pokemon for this battle, just because a lot of them usually have a countermeasure against that. Um, like they have the Dynamic Punch, for instance, even though um, fighting is not strong against Psychic, most Psychic Pokemon don't have good defense, so yeah, that's why I recommend Flying types. Alright, since Cyan Wood Gem... I will say it correctly for you guys, is now completed. I'll be moving on to the Olivine Gym. As you notice, the sky is starting to change. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video. Extreme close-up!